I'm Sarah and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I have a swimwear haul for you. I am going on two holidays this year without my children. I have never left my children before but this year it's my 30th birthday and we're going away for a weekend to Santorini. Also my sister-in-law gets married this year so I'm also going on her Hendu which is in Barcelona. So it's all very exciting. I've got a little bit overexcited and bought rather a lot of swimwear for these trips. So if you're interested in seeing the pieces of swimwear I picked up, keep watching. I will link all items that I have purchased in the description bar below. The first item is this bikini from Pretty Little Thing. So it is quite high cut, that's the back, and this is the front. But I have a really large ass. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it out there, my bum is huge. And I've always tried to cover it up, but actually if I do, it looks worse. Um, I've realized literally only in the last month after watching Love Island that if you wear a higher cut swimsuit that doesn't dig in, my big bum actually looks better. So you can see the whole thing, but it doesn't look, you don't get overhang because the cut of this literally just skims my bum. So I've got no tight bits. It doesn't make me lumpy and bumpy. It really is nicely fitting. The top is this bandeau style top. This was a two piece, so I bought a size 10. This does roll down a lot. It's fine for swimming without the kids or for lying on a sun lounger, but it does keep rolling down. So you can't like bend over, like pick up a baby, like a boob would flop out. So just to bear that in mind, um, this isn't something I would wear with the girls just cause maybe if I bought a bigger size, if I bought a 12, then it would be better, but it does tend to like roll up because that it is literally just a piece of stretchy material. So that does mean it's really comfy and I think it's really flattering on, which you will see from the picture, but yeah, not the most practical if you're running around after kids. The next item came in a pack of two, so it's two swimsuits, exactly the same, a black and a white. They're from Pretty Little Thing again. I'm loving Pretty Little Thing swimwear at the moment. And it's this halter neck swimsuit. So there's the tie detail that go up around the top. And again, it is high cut because I've found that that flatters my bum more, so. Yeah, it's just really plain. It's just a piece of material, so it's really comfy. It's got a low back, that's the back. And then the front sort of comes up and round. It's just really flattering. So I've got this in white and black. This is the white one. Again, exactly the same style. It's got that high leg, low back, and a halter neck. This does go a little bit see-through. I have quite big nipples at the moment because I'm still breastfeeding. Um, so yeah, you can see my nipples through, but maybe if you had normal size nipples, it'd be fine. The next swimsuit I've got is from River Island and this swimsuit is absolutely amazing. So it's this cutout detail. It's quite low cut, but it is so supportive. It has cups in the breast. So even though it's low cut, there is absolutely no way your boob would fall out. Um, it's got a clip fastening at the back, so you're very secure. Like, I could wear this and run around after the kids in it because it keeps you tucked in in all the right places. It is a little bit high cut, but not as high cut as the Pretty Little Thing swimsuits. And yeah, I just really love it. I just, I honestly feel like I could wear this anywhere. Um, sucks me in in all the right places, keeps me nice and secure. I could wear this to a walk park and my bits wouldn't fall out. Like, it's really well made and just a really supportive swimsuit whilst being a little bit sexy as well. That was from River Island and I bought that recently again so I can link that down below. The next item is a bikini. It's just a plain black bikini because I don't think you can ever go wrong with those. It's from Pretty Little Thing and it is this tanga style. Now I have, well you'll see from the pictures, I have a tattoo on my thigh um, but it's very high so you can't see it if I wear short skirts. It's literally like on the side of my legs. It's probably more on my hip actually. Um, but I quite like this because it's of the thin straps, you can see my tattoo in all its glory. I'm a 10 slash 12, but I did go for the 12 just because I didn't want it to be too tight. Um, it's the tanga style, and yeah, it just has these thin little straps, which I think, because they are thin straps, they don't cut in as much. My thighs, my bum, my hips are my squiddiest part, so if I wear anything too tight or something with a big waistband that digs in, it just looks off when I get a muffin top, so this was really good for avoiding that. And I just got this, this is just a normal triangular bikini top, which I bought to match. These were sold separately, so I bought this in a size 10. 
it's just a normal bikini top but i will link that down below so you could get a different one to match those bottoms but this was the style i settled on the last swimsuit is this one from river island i bought this last year but i wanted to show it you because it is something i wear quite often it's something i wear with the kids and it's just really supportive it's got this structured cup detail so those boobies aren't going anywhere it's got a high back it's got like this little mesh detail around the middle so it's kind of like a tankini but it is actually an all-in-one so it is a swimsuit and yeah it's just a really nice well-fitting swimsuit that covers you up i can't find this online because i did buy this a few years ago but i will link something similar but if you are looking for more support to go in for something that is more structured with cups and underwires is a good idea because it always makes you look like You've got bigger boobs and it sort of like holds you in more. The last two items are actually beach cover ups. When you're going to beach clubs and things, you don't always want to be out on show. And also just, you know, if you're like at the pool and you want to pop to the bar or something and you don't feel like walking up in your swimsuit, then these are really nice to throw on. I also think if you put these on over swimsuits, they make really nice day outfits. So the first one is this mesh skirt from Pretty Little Thing. It's just it's really simple. It's got a black waistband and it's just long line sort of maxi skirt with a split in it. Yeah, it's just really nice, um, really simple, but it looks really nice with over the black swimsuit or the black bikini. I could wear this over and I just think it is really nice for, especially if you're trying to pack light, this, would, this over a swimsuit would make a day outfit and you're sorted. The next cover up is this crochet one. This is from Primark. I bought this in a size large because I didn't want it to be tight. It's just really loose. I've styled this with the white swimsuit from Pretty Little Thing, which I think when you do have a swimsuit that is a little bit see through, this is like the perfect cover up um, because you won't be able to see that through the dress. Yeah, and I really love this as an outfit. This is definitely something I would wear in the day on holiday and I think it looks really nice. So that's it, that's all the swimsuits that I will be taking on holiday this year. I hope you've enjoyed seeing all the new swimsuits that I've picked up. There is rather a lot. I've been watching far too much Love Island and being inspired by all the gorgeous swimsuits on there. I am also planning a video on how to get bikini ready without dieting. So look out for that. If you enjoyed it, then please do like it and please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.